DIY Sew Packs. If you like fun sew packs as much as we do, get ready to have some fun because we've got some DIY sew packs that you don't want to miss. New here? Don't forget to subscribe to Crafty Hackers to be the first to see our new DIY projects and packs. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Let's get started. Honeycomb soap. For this, you'll want to cut up some clear soap base into chunks and put it in a double boiler. You can just use a metal bowl and a pot, like we've done here. Melt the soap on low heat. Take a clear plastic cup and cut the top off about halfway down the cup. Use the cup to trace a circle on some bubble wrap. Cut out the circle. Measure the bubble wrap to the cup and cut out another piece. Measure the small end of the cup and cut out another circle from the bubble wrap. You should have three pieces of bubble wrap these sizes and shapes. Cut and stick some of the pieces of double-sided tape onto the bubble wrap sections. Tape the small circle cutout into the bottom of the cup. Add the large section of bubble wrap to the sides of the cup. Pour the melted soap into a bowl and add some soap dye. Pour the soap into the cup with bubble wrap inside. Spray the top with rubbing alcohol and let it set. Once the soap is hardened, take it out of your DIY honeycomb soap mold. You'll have to cut it away with a box cutter. Carefully peel back the sides of the cup and pull off the bubble wrap. Looks like a honeycomb, right? Use a box cutter to trim it and make it look nice. Cut it into slices and enjoy using it in your bathroom. Rainbow soap. Using your double broiler, melt some clear soap base and pour it into a small glass container. Add a bit of soap dye to stick and stir into the soap. Elevate one side of your soap mold and spray the inside with a bit of rubbing alcohol. Pour the first layer of soap in, then make a different color layer using a clear base and soap dye. After you've mixed up the next layer, spray the soap in the mold with rubbing alcohol. This will keep the soap from forming unsightly bubbles. Pour in the next layer, then prop up the other side of the mold. Make your next layer. Pour in good smelling essential oil and soap dye and stir. Scrape some lines into the hardened soap into the mold and spray it with alcohol. Pour the last layer of soap on top and spray the top with rubbing alcohol. After it sets, remove it from the mold. Homemade rainbow soap for the win. Soap with a thread. Add some soap dye to a melted clear soap base. Spray with rubbing alcohol when you're done. Cut some chunks of cream soap. Melt it on low heat in a double broiler until it becomes a liquid. Pour it into a bowl and stir in some essential oil to make it smell nice. Use a toothpick to scrape some lines into the hardened soap in the mold and spray it with alcohol. Pour the cream soap on top and spray it with a bit more rubbing alcohol. Once the soap is hardened, it should look like this. Pull the rope out of the soap to make a fun design inside. Cool trick, right? Soap with stars. Cut some clear soap base into small pieces. Melt it in your double broiler and pour it into a small glass container. Spray a mold with rubbing alcohol and pour the soap in. Add soap dye and stir with a toothpick or wooden stick. After the soap hardens, remove them from the mold and trim off any scraggly edges. Now you've got little star soaps. Add some essential oil to some more melted soap to make it smell good, stir it up. Spray a larger soap mold with rubbing alcohol. Pour the glitter soap in the bottom. Then add your stars from earlier. Spray each star with rubbing alcohol to prevent bubbles. Add some essential oil to your next layer and stir. Then add some glitter. Spray the soap with alcohol and pour the soap in. When it sets, you'll have a bar of glittery star soap that adds some sparkle and shine to your bathroom. Sponge soap. Pull the rope off of your loofah and spread it out. Cut a section of the loofah and wrap it in some bubble wrap. Tape it up with clear packing tape.
tape more bubble wrap on the ends. Then wrap it up with aluminum foil, tape it up again. Add your favorite soap dye to some melted clear soap base. Then, throw in some essential oil and some glitter too. Add a bit of confetti and stir it up. Pour the soap mixture over your loofah. Close it up and let it sit. When it's hardened, cut it into slices. Remove the foil and bubble wrap. Now you've got exfoliating soap for your shower. Gemstones. You know the drill. Cut some clear soap base into small chunks and melt it down. Add some soap dye until you're happy with the richness of the color. Then, spray your soap mold with rubbing alcohol. Pour it into a section of the mold and spray it again. Now make a different color. Once you've filled your tray and let the soap harden, pop them out of the mold. Next, cut the soap into gemstone shapes. Just cut off the corners and trim a bit here and there to make a crystal shape that you like. Do this with each bar of soap you made. So luxurious. We hope you enjoyed these DIY soap hacks. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. See you next time.